What is up? It is Minnesota Vikings Man 28. It is Friday. And today, we are going over the top five. Yes, top five needs for the Minnesota Vikings in this year's draft 2021. Um, as you can see here, I have number five right here. Defensive end, edge, whatever you want to call it. I chose this as number five because I have full confidence that Daniil Hunter will be back uh, for the 2021 NFL season. You know, if you've seen him, he's been posting, um, you know, li lifting weights. Um, and he ha has, uh, I feel like, developed, well, recovered, I should say, uh, quick, quickly um, and should be ready in time for the 2021 NFL season. If, of course, he's not back, of course, um, it'll be higher up on the list, uh, maybe even number one. But I have confidence that Daniel Hunter will be back. Um, if not, it'll be the DJ Wonham uh, Fadi um, situa situation we had last year. But I feel like um, Daniel Hunter, if he's back, should not be a big need for defense end. But we will get one in the draft, don't worry. Number four on our list, we have uh, safe safety. And before I actually go to edge, some players to target right now. Um, Rashad Jr., if we do go number, if we do first round, Chris uh, Rumpf, you know, the, more of these people because, you know, edges, there's gonna be see pe maybe people in the first round go for edge. So number four, again, uh, safety. Why safety? Because, you know, Anthony Harris is probably gonna leave, most likely gonna leave. Um, not as, uh, important as another position um, I'm going to mention later on, but safety to pair up with Harrison Smith. Um, we have George Iloka, okay, um, and Josh M Metellus. Um, but yeah, someone to pair with the all pro Anthony, ha I mean, Harrison Smith um, would be good. Uh, someone like uh, Paris Ford or Trayvon uh, Mooring. Andreas Washington, or someone up up here, Javon Holland, whoever, um, that would be good to to target on. Um, if we were going to do that first round, second round, of course, you keep scrolling down um, to Caden Stearns, uh, Joshua Bledsoe, and so on and so on. So. Uh, Number three on my list is interior offensive line or just offensive line in general, specifically the guards. I feel like, of course, we've been taught a lot of people have been talking about Ezra Cleveland moving to that left tackle, which he honestly should. Brian O'Neill, solid right tackle, one of the best in the league, only good uh, offensive lineman that I know for sure we have. Um, on here, it just says offense line. So any person on offense line except center, really, um, we should get. Uh, of course, you know, it's going to be hard to get some of these top people. But, you know, you go down Christian Derisa, uh, Wyatt Davis, and so on and so on. Trey Smith, um, getting some of these, getting some offensive linemen to help with the protection. Uh, with uh, Dalvin, you know, Dalvin Cook getting bigger lanes uh, for him to, you know, with Dalvin Cook, I, I've, he gets the big, you know, chunk plays, doesn't, like, he get, get that, you know, big, uh, the big runs uh, like Adrian Pearson did. I know he's not Adrian Pearson. I, I know I'm going off a tangent, but, you know, just not exactly... Uh, like that also give me give Kirk Cousins some more time in the pocket, which is the more important thing, giving Kirk more time. We have a good we have good uh, receivers, tight ends, um, running back. You know, Kirk Cousins just needs to more time to get get it to them. So gain some interior offensive linemen. I feel weird on the tackles, but you know, if we do get tackled, maybe switch them around. Um, Put put some in guard, tackles, whatever. Number two on my list, I have... Oh, what did I say? What did I say? Cornerback. Yes, cornerback. Cornerback, cornerback, cornerback. Cannot stress this one enough. Uh, 
let me see. Let's go to cornerback right now. Cam Dantzler, great. Jeff Gladney. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. We hit it good with Cameron Dantzler, our late round draft pick. Jeff Gladney needs some time. So cornerback um, to get in the first round. Wouldn't be surprised if we got one in the first round. Maybe should get one in the first round. Um, got Asante Samuel, Patrick Sertian, J.C. Horn, and Sean Wade um, around that range for a first round. I th first round, I believe we're pick number. Oh my goodness, um, at fourteen, right? Yeah, I have to check that. Check that again. Um, I'm not going too in depth with some of these right now. We will look at individual positions, you know, and players to look at. So these, are, I'm just showing, you know, what uh, players, top players, are available for those positions. Um, cornerback, bigger need than safety because we just need more depth at that position. Harrison Smith, veteran safety who if we whoever we bring in as safety whether it's in free agency or the the draft uh well most likely the draft because we do have veteran leadership at safety but just drafting someone later for safety Harris Smith can do a good job uh along with Zimmer um developing that safety next to him we should do good that should be good there Cornerback cover, very young. We need some more talent. You know, we and to pair up with Cameron Dantzler. Jeff Gladney might be rotation more looking like more rotational cornerback. So getting cornerback important. And number one, number one, I think you all saw this coming. Or maybe not. Interior defensive line. Um big, big uh need. Uh, we have Michael Pierce, who may or may not come back. This is the, this is the biggest question mark. If we have Michael Pierce, I might move this down to number two um, and put cornerback on number one. But you know, I, I don't know Michael Pierce. You know, I know his concerns. COVID very serious. Don't want to force him into a situation where, you know, he has to play or not. And I say I feel more comp. That's why I, it's weird. I feel more confident in Hunter and then Michael Pierce because Daniel Hunter has been with. You know, has been with the team, knows the team. Michael Pierce, new to the team, new to the city, you know. So that's why I'm more on Michael Pierce. Um, we do have Shamar Steph. Well, Shamar Steph, for now, I do think we're going to cut him. Uh, Jaleel Johnson. Uh, we And for interior defense alignment, just to look at, we got uh, Quiddy Pay, Christian Barmore, um, Levi. I uh, don't want to pronounce that. Jalen Phillips, and so on and so on. So I've been hearing Christian Barmore a lot. Maybe we can get him interior defensive line. Uh, we need that because we need to get pressure on the quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. Basically him because, you know, you got Jared Goff and uh, Mitch Trubisky. Not too much uh, concern about them, but just getting pressure on big-time quarterbacks so that we put less pressure on our secondary because I feel like that's most important. That's where we really lacked last year. Our leading sacker was Yannick Ngakwe, who we released after we went 1-5. Even when we had that good stretch, still didn't get a lot of sacks. So interior defense line is the number one thing for me and not edge because I feel because of confidence Neil Hunter. If not, edge would move high up maybe one or two defense line and, and edge are probably the most important positions if Daniel Hunter does not come back for the 2021 NFL season. So that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts down in the comments below? This has been Minnesota Vikings fan 28 and as always, Skull.